Good morning. Uh, in the time that I just walked out of the house, I've seen an anhydrous rig and three different sets of tanks going down south. So we are going to have a lot of stuff running today from the looks of it. Uh, they want to start planting more beans, I guess. We'll see how that goes. I hope that we do get to plant more, but uh, because of this cold weather, they're kind of being skeptical and we're waiting a little bit. So. Well, on today's episode, you get to see us pull out a tractor. Xavier's buried a 9470, so we are going to go pull it out. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's that bad. We got the straps in the bed of my truck here, and we got a tractor on the way. We got another 9470 on the way to come pull it out. Hopefully, we can get it out with one. We don't have to call in the other one, but who knows what will happen at this point. Augie's out here planting. Uh, I've been trying to go spray, but been kind of busy today so i haven't gotten to yet dad's planting as well and steven and zach put on anhydrous i got kyle with me they was uh hauling tanks but we're out of anhydrous at the farm now so they have to wait how are you guys doing today so right now well i got my man well my grapples helped me get ready but before then my truck kind of broke down i had to replace a fuel filter housing fuel filter housing had a leak in it right here Sorry if you can move this. Took that off actually. Yeah, it was leaking right, right there. The hose goes in right there. It was leaking right up underneath that right there. That's where it was leaking from. So I got the old one off. It's I took it apart to see where it was leaking from, but I really couldn't tell. Like it was leaking from right, like right in there. But I don't know if the seal is bad or what was wrong with it, but I just went and got a new one. Got it put on. Well, not all the way. Still got to tighten up that back bolt that holds the mounted on. Slip the hose on, put my clips back on, and then prime it up and see if it's still run. Then also, while I was doing that, I went ahead and figured, since I normally change my oil or my fuel filter, same time I do my oil, so I figured my, my, might as well change my oil while I'm changing my fuel filter, so I change them both at the exact same time. So that's what I've been doing since about after dinner. Cause it died on me twice before then, so that's what I got it figured out. So got a new, got the new one on. Let's see what happens. Xavier, are you proud of yourself? Yes, yes, I'm very proud of myself. How proud? Very, very, very proud. First time ever getting stuck. At least it isn't really all that bad. It might wind up being a pain to pull out though because of the cultivator behind it. So we'll just have to see. We got another tractor on the way. We got four straps in the bed, or three straps in the bed. So we'll see what happens. Be nice to keep the tractor out of this stuff over here and try and get it up here on this dry ground. So we'll see what happens. All right, we're getting ready to string out all these straps. We got a bunch of them. Hopefully, we can get them up to about right here. And then that way, we aren't in that soupy stuff over there. We might even have to kind of pull the tractor a little bit sideways. But pulling it straight out just really is not an option with this stuff being here. It's too slippery. There's water underneath it. It's wet. So broken arm Xavier is going to carry clevises. These are our straps. I think they're rated for like 100, 150,000 pounds. If we can't get it out with this and then we snap this, we got an issue. I think we're gonna need the other, need another one. So I got it all put back together. Here you can see having those one clamps i put hose clamps on it got all my wires hooked up now we gotta put oil in it and then what i'm gonna do i put oil in it i'm gonna take that screw out right there plastic screw right there right there right where my lights on there's a little plastic screw it's a little plastic screw we gotta take out 
And after I, or I shouldn't say take it out, just loosen it up a little bit. So when I start pumping on this, little hose clamp. But when I start pumping on this, I let fuel come out of there. I'll shut that, go up there and try to crank on the truck to see if the truck will start. And hopefully the truck will start after I get all that done. So I've been messing with this thing quite some time now, trying to put everything back together and stuff on it. So, hopefully we'll get it done. Come on now, you stupid fucker. So we got all this strap here laid out flat and the tractor will back right up there. So that we got it all lined up now. So then that way, once he gets here, he can just pull us out and then he can be back on his way to go put on anhydrous again. What are you doing? Uh, making it straight. Oh, okay. The tractor should be coming over the hill here in a second. So go ahead and lay that out and we'll see if we can get it out. Xavier done a good job, that's for sure. Thank you, thank you. This is his first time ever getting hung up in a tractor. So we'll see what, we'll see how this goes. But see, this all looks dry on top, but the second that he fell through it, it just dropped right down. Yeah, and you can see the tires back there are pushing. Oh well. We gotta get it out. So we got oil on it. So we, so we got oil on it now. So come over here. Loosen this up some. Like that. Let's see here. I'm gonna take this and we'll. pump until fuel comes out of that. Sometimes it takes a minute. Because what we're doing here, I'm pumping all the air I put in the system out by taking all the hoses off, which that puts, which then again, puts air in the system. So you gotta take that off and do it this way. Okay, so I got fuel starting to come out of it now. So what I'll do, I'll tighten this bag up. So therefore, when I got fuel coming out of there, which means I, then again, I got all the air out of the system that I put in there. But when I want to change the fuel, when I change the filter, so what I'm gonna do again, got that closed, I'm gonna pump this up till it gets hard. got stiff so I can really push it down so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna crank on it see if I get it to run in here. so it's running gotta let it run for a minute and uh, we'll see we'll shut run it shut it off and see what happens It's out. Xavier's getting roll, ready to roll again. Now I gotta go home and hopefully go start spraying again. Um, let him get hung up first. There goes the tractor leaving. We were sitting in there, me and Xavier was, and then all of a sudden all you felt was a just a jerk to one side and it was out, it was out of the hole. It's pretty neat. Fun little. Th it, it's always fun to pull out a tractor like that. It's never fun if it's worse than that, but it's fun to do it. And it sucks knowing though that you gotta take something away from something else to go do this and but it's part of it. Another day in paradise. So after I get done letting it running, I kind of forgot that I was gonna have to check the wheel again, so I shut the hood on accident. So I mean after I let it run for a minute, check, looked underneath. Didn't see any leaks, which is a good sign. So now I gotta come over here and come over here and check my oil to see how the oil is.
You never check it. You never check the oil when you first pull it out of the dip tank. You wipe. I always wipe it off, and then we check it. Give it because I just had it running. Give it a better uh, accurate. So looking at it. Looks like it's all, it's all on there, so looks like it's good to go. Now we're going to go out and drive it and see what happens. Real question, real thing would be is, it's just to start back up, which I don't see why it shouldn't, but you always have that thing how it happens so I'm gonna see if she starts back up. Oh. There we go. Fixed it. On to the next project which since that's been planting you know what I you know what I gotta do. Let's try it. We're going to the sprayer here in a minute. Ross, did you destroy a brand new pump already? No. Pump still works, so it's broke. Connects. I already took it out. Yeah. Hey, no. My back. Are you sure? Right there. It's supposed to be that in that box, in that package. Well, uh, Ross is working on getting, trying spraying. I sprayed a little bit today. Uh, I got a little bit more spray, so I'm gonna go get after it again. I gotta get some death. I'm just having fun watching Ross right now. Are you getting anywhere at all? I have no idea. It's been a rough day, okay? After my <laughs> truck breaking down and... Do you want some help? Yes, please. Yes, please? Yes. All right, I'll help you out a little bit. So I'm now on my way back to the field again. I went home and had a little bit of something to eat. It's later in the day. Uh, it's been a busy day so far. I hope tomorrow's a little bit less busy. It's supposed to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, a high of 50. Today it's like, feels like it's 90 degrees outside. We've all been sweating. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and I'll probably see Augie. I'll probably fly my drone around Augie for a minute and I'll fly around Dad for a minute too. So yeah kind of what's going on today nothing too special but gotta get it done get to work finally after a long day okay guys i'm sorry but i just decided that there's going to be a lot of drone footage in this video so stay tuned we got two planters running side by side right now the db60 and dad's corn planter is both in the same vicinity and it looks like dad's about done so maybe i'll get some video of him folding up that would be pretty cool too but i'm gonna fly around augie here He's right out there and then dad's behind him. So stay tuned. It's going to get pretty cool. proven that I am not ready for it to turn off cold. Uh, I just flew my drone around, 
sit outside, had some fun with it, and I got some nice views of some massive machinery all on the same field. So, yeah, pretty neat. We'll ask Augie how he thinks that the drone footage is going to turn out from the day. Hey, Augie. How do you... Augie's starting to get a little bit mad at me, I can only assume. I'm spraying circles around him right now. And he's planting. Uh, there's a little strip up here where they dug the ditch out this uh, winter. So we don't really know how we're going to wind up messing with that. Because we can't drive tractor through it. Uh, Xavier, that's what Xavier got hung up in earlier in this video so yeah it's just kind of one of the things where we don't really know what to do about it yet we haven't thought that far so we'll get there all right we got a massive storm coming in right over there so we're gonna try and get some of this stuff out of the yard here uh they just put the gator in the shop i think they got the pickups in the shop it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of hail and stuff so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna get my water truck pull it in the shop pull it in the closet uh, I'll probably get them to put all the hey. tractors in the closet and stuff. Or not all the tractors, all the pickups up. Put it better. Hey, I'm going to put your pickup in the shop. Why? Because I think there might be hail out of this. So I'll, I'll do it. Go ahead. Hi. This is normal storm preparation. So I got to get this water truck in. I got to get some of the farm trucks in. Yeah, you can see it coming in over there starting to sprinkle a little bit this one's gonna hit us pretty hard guys we've had too much good dry weather and now it's coming a pretty good sized storm it's not like a big wide one it's just one like little strip on the radar but it just looks like it's gonna it's just straight red you can see it one of my buddies from up north had sent me a snapchat of it a minute ago holy cow Kinda of scary. Wow. That does not look good. But hey, we also still going to spray. Uh, I told him just go ahead, make sure the sprayer is going to work right, so then that way we know what we got to work on tomorrow. Uh, we got, I got to do some stuff to my sprayer. Guess it's got some other stuff like that. They're probably gonna try and put on gas again tomorrow because it's not gonna rain south of us and that's where they're at. This tail is just basically gonna hit our farm here. Kind of swoop through, so they'll still be doing work down south. All right, now the winds are coming. This is gonna be a pretty big storm. It's pretty cool though. 